Okay, so <clears throat> the main theme of this three-year body course uh, has been the so-called Senjin uh, or Wisdom meditations, meditations of Chokchen Master Vimala Mitra. And, mm, We're going to do a session of this Senjin meditation, which, which means like Sem means mind, and Sin I don't remember. So it must be something <laughs> doing with the mind. <laughs> so like a meditation practices. So we're talking about in Vimala Mitra's wisdom meditations, we're talking about uh, different ways of practicing shamatha meditation, shamatha uh, the effect the, uh, of shamatha meditation is calmness, calmness of mind and, and therefore clarity of one's mind. And how we can get to that clarity, what shamatha practice is practically, it's practice of focus and concentration, concentration concentrating on something, which happens to be the breath in in this wisdom meditation series um, and um, so there is shamatha different shamatha techniques in Vimala Mitra's wisdom meditations but they are also vipassana shamatha and vipassana together so there are different stages of of vipassana and all of you have done uh, guidance to awakening so you already know from that experience what, what vipassana means. Vipassana literally means supreme seeing. So it's like a seeing um, clearly what something is and or what it is not. And that's what awakening is, right? And so that's one part of awakening, having the vipassana. Pashana effect supreme seeing regarding the sense of subject self but then there's also object selves which means thoughts emotions and different kinds of energies like a uh, clearly energies that that have the effect of uh, becoming clouded mind becoming clouded somehow that kind of energies. I was talking about energies in the last session, the free flow of energies, but this, these energies, what I was talking there, was the same energies, but being momentarily infused with the energy of awareness itself. So it's pure energy. But here, when talking about object selves, an object vipassana, thoughts, emotions, different energies. Um, I'm talking about energy that is karmically, should I say, stained or karmically charged. So we can have the same or similar insight regarding thoughts, emotions, peace. Um, energies, objects that appear in the mind simply simply by applying or doing that when there's a thought or an emotion that we experience simply by being aware of it. It's simple as that. Um, and there are a few simple tricks to work with that but perhaps I'll talk about that later. So Vimala Mitra Semjin uh, is about Shamatha, Vipassana, and then Ati Yoga, Chokchen, which is you are familiar with with that already. And then there's the last step of the I think there are eleven steps, eleven parts in that practice series is 
um, maximizing momentarily, maximizing one's focus. And that you're already also familiar with through pet mantra, because that's like momentarily, like a, like a, um, is it mac maximization, maximization, maximizing, yeah. uh, maximizing one's focus. Um, but you don't alway, always have to shout to do it. It can be done simply on the, on the, with one's like mental focus. <clears throat> a few days ago somebody was, I don't remember who it was, but somebody was um, asking me or mentioning preliminary practices. In Tibetan Buddhism they have a term for these preliminary exercises, preliminary practices, and the term is Nandro. It's written N G O N D R O Ngondro and it's pronounced Nandro. So these preliminary practices are something in Tibetan Buddhism that they do like one hundred thousand prostrations. One hundred thousand prostrations. They combine they do this movement and then do a full prostration on the stomach and then come back up again and do the mantra and do the same thing 100,000 times. And then there are, depends of the lineage, but there are three or four other exercises. One of them is Guru Yoga, <coughs> which are also done 100,000 times. <coughs> so traditionally this Nandro, these preliminary practices, it means doing 400,000 or 500,000 of these preliminary exercises that combine mantra, physical movement, uh, visualization in different ways. And um, if you think about, we have done sometimes these pro full prostrations. It's a wonderful practice. But if you start thinking of 100,000 of those, uh, you can kind of estimate how much time it requires, especially for a lay person. And then there are the 300,000 or 400,000 other practices. So the, the traditional Nandro takes a lot of time and it's a demanding thing. But it's a, it's a wonderful practice. There are a lot of benefits of doing practice like that. And it's, I think it's a bit misleading to say that they are preliminary, as if uh, saying that um, if we practice any kind of technique from the Chokchen point of view, which means that you, are, you have already arrived, then it's a completely different thing. You know, it's, uh, so if we look at preliminary practices in a way that I have to do, 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 do this to get somewhere, then it's a misleading concept, right? But if we practice it already with the conscious recognition that we have already arrived, that we are already in the destination while doing it, then it's a completely different thing. But the reason I'm talking about Nandro preliminary practices is that somebody asked me or mentioned it a few days ago and and um, I've been thinking about about this theme um, um, how should I say I wouldn't want to speak of preliminary practices but but somehow like um, maybe I should simply say like open heart style meditation training that would be beneficial to all open heart practitioners in addition to Tibetan heart yoga. This is something that I've been think thinking about a bit recently and uh, um, especially regarding this Vimalamitra Semjin wisdom meditations and also um, some physical practices. Um, 
Paulina, she's the like a speciali- specialist when it comes to uh, yoga postures, and um, there's also a, like a asana practice, physical practice series that Vimala Mitra uh, gave her a couple of years ago. I think she hasn't taught it. Maybe she did give a course on it, like once or twice, before we started having kids. But um, uh, anyway, there is this physical exercise series by Vimala Mitra that she might start to teach, or um, then it could be that she will also simplify it. But it's like a simple yoga exercises, physical yoga exercises. So I was thinking about this um, matter of training, meditative training and making the body healthy, uh, making the muscles strong and pliable, pliable meaning flexible, um, and it's very important, you know. Uh, so, maybe in the near future I will, I will make something like a, like a, maybe it will be like a physical course or like an intensive of, of a few days where these practices are practiced together um, and we will practice these wisdom meditations now in Bodhi course, but for other Sangha members, uh, information for them that uh, I probably will gather uh, like a, some texts and instructions and these audio talks, maybe some videos that people can do this, this uh, pr- preliminary practices or open heart style meditation training by themselves at home and what I mean by this course is that like wisdom meditations uh, they should be studied uh, not only for a weekend but for year two years three years every day for some time every day it doesn't have to be uh, a long period but just you know uh, adding half an hour of shamatha practice shamatha vipassana practice um, without the tantric elements uh, would be something that uh, has a lot of benefit. So I wanted to say that. <laughs>